Rain Over Me packs a powerful punch with heavy hitting performances by Don Cheadle, Adam Sandler, Liv Tyler. Come join us to see the celebs talk about their movie about one man's isolation in New York City. He definitely is suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder, 100%, and he's, you know, lost his entire family and everything that means anything to him in a blink of an eye, so he's just really coping with life in whatever way he can, and it's not really about diagnosing him as much as helping him to find a way to be comfortable with thinking about or dealing with those feelings in his life. He lapsed into unreality, and, and it's totally believable. He became deranged, but not so deranged that he can't take care of himself or whatever. People become concerned and to try to bring him back from a, a very unbelievable event. And uh, I, I just think Binder de dealt with it in a really wonderful way. It's just really about the mess that occurs when, when, when a tragedy occurs, you know, and the debris that is going on years after the, the tragedy, the sort of the ramifications of that that go on for generations, um, which obviously Adam's character is chiefly, chiefly the, the, the victim of. Uh, you know what? Uh, uh, it's a big part of my character. He, he um, he's just trying to avoid any anything he, he can that might hurt him. And and he, his playlist on his iPod is just songs that he would play t before uh, before the, the 9/11 uh, attacks and before he lost his family. So music is just trying to bring him back to his youth and 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 uh, and, and and that trigger a memory that would be painful. We just had a ball, you know, Adam's very musical, he plays guitar, he's a really good guitar player, and I mess around on about six or seven different things, so we had a lot of fun and a lot of sort of cross-referencing, we were talking about music and what we dug. It was so easy to work with him because he's such a vet and he's so talented, and so it made my job very, very easy. I mean, I love the city probably more than even my hometown, which is a terrible thing to say of London, which is the second best city in the world. Um, but um, there is, I mean, to not shoot here would have been a crime. You know, there's a lot of reproducing of New York in other places that goes on for obviously for financial reason, but we had to be here, you know, and um, it is a character in our story. In a way, New York is the protagonist, you know, in a way even more than Adam, it's sort of, New York is the character. I've, I've you know, been living in and out of New York for a long time and uh, I love the nighttime the most, uh, three in the morning is the best. I used to, when I was on Saturday Night Live, I would uh, go rollerblading like three in the morning just to calm down, I was so tense about the show and that was the best times, man, just being alone in New York and this movie was, was very much like, uh, <laughs> four in the morning shooting, freezing like two degrees out, and uh, that was aggravating, but uh, we, uh, we, 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 yeah, it, was, it felt like what the movie should feel like. Thanks for joining us at Hollywood.com.